What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and I finally got a chance to sit down and put together a little review on the Asus Transformer that I just picked up. If you guys haven't checked out the unboxing video, definitely do so. I'll put a link up in the annotations and also down in the description. I cover a few things like the different ports available on the unit and you also get some nice close-ups, so definitely check it out. But let's move on to the review and my first impressions having used the device for a couple of days now. And uh, believe it or not, I'm actually really impressed. I actually really enjoy using the device. The thing about these kinds of devices is that they're really consumption-based devices. Um, the, the main focus here is sitting down and consuming your content. And this device here is really one of the first that says, hey, you could do a little bit of production on me as well. But it also gives you the ability to consume content in a couple of different form factors. Sometimes I'm sitting down on the couch in a certain position and I've been holding up the tablet for a while and I'm really wishing that I just had a little stand or something for it. Now this Asus Transformer is going to give you not only a stand but also all the extra functionality built in to this keyboard portion. Now I want to mention you can buy the Asus Transformer just the tablet portion of it without the keyboard dock, but I, I don't think you're really making the best use out of uh, the built-in functionality that Asus put in there when you do that, um, especially considering price-wise, like I picked this combo up for $4.99 here in Canada. Now you look at something like the Galaxy Tab 10.1, it's basically the same price without all of that added functionality. Now you're probably asking, what is all the added functionality he keeps talking about? And there's a few things. Um, there's obviously some that you see right away, the keyboard, um, the multi-touch trackpad, uh, the side of the unit has got, you know, your obviously your charging port here. You've got one USB on this side. The other side of the unit adds a full-size SD card slot, a, another USB port. Now the tablet has got a bunch more functionality over the Galaxy Tab 10 one as well. You've got a micro SD card slot an HDMI port, a headphone jack. Headphone jack is uh, pretty obvious. That's not really added functionality. And uh, you've also got a five megapixel camera on the back side of the unit. I'm not sure if you saw that there. Yeah, there you go. Maybe you can see it now. Maybe not. There it is, right up there. A five megapixel camera instead of a three megapixel camera, which in my tests is uh, a significant improvement over the uh, Galaxy Tab's three megapixel camera uh, in real world usage. Now, those are all very important things, but not really the most important as far as I'm concerned. The most important thing for me about this attachment is having the extra battery. This unit has its own battery in it, and it, it almost doubles the battery life of your tablet. Now, obviously, there's extra weight and all that associated with it, so you're not really doubling the life of your tablet. You're tab turning your tablet into something else, but that's fine with me. Um, I sort of figure... If the environment calls for the tablet on its own, then I can just pop it out of the transformer dock. If the environment calls for the whole unit, or if I, you know, I'm, I have a table to rest it on, or even if I'm just sitting on my couch and I don't feel like holding it anymore, uh, and I need a few more minutes of juice, you know, it's not really a question of if you're going to use it this way all the time, but having the option to me is worth the money. So I've given you some of my opinions there. It's obviously not going to ring true for everyone. If you can't see yourself ever using that added functionality, then maybe you want to take your money and buy something a little bit more sleek and a little bit lighter as well. Um, it's not really fair to compare the Galaxy Tab 10.1 to the Transformer when it's docked in. So let's go ahead and remove it from the dock. Now, that's controlled via this mechanical switch up here. Um, the way that that functions is by unlocking to the left, and then you lift up on the tablet portion. And then there it is. You've got your tablet. On the bottom side of the unit, you have one, two different ports that uh, allow the unit to be locked in there, as well as your proprietary ASUS port. Now, when you hold the Galaxy Tab 10-1 up against the transformer you can see it's not that much thinner it's a little bit shorter the, the tab 10 one that is and it's significantly lighter you know you can definitely notice the weight difference so like i said if you're looking for the absolute lightest 
on the market right now, then you're probably looking at the Tab 10 one. But for me, the weight difference is not significant enough that it would change my mind. I'm I'm totally on board with this this uh, transformer concept. In fact, I think tablets should have gone this way a long time ago instead of those crazy <laughs> swiveling screens. Even though you know they may not have had the technology to build this much functionality into a removable slate in the past, we have it now. So why not take advantage of it? Now, I've also got, believe it or not, an iPad 2, and I've also got a MacBook Air, the newest model, 13-inch down here as well. And the reason that I've got this here is because when you've got this transformer completely hooked up in the docking station, it actually becomes very close to the same weight as the MacBook Air. Now, you're probably not considering those two devices only because they're two totally different price points, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what to expect if you're going to be using this in the laptop form factor more often than not. It is fairly hefty. So I just want to give you that warning. Um, not hefty to the point where you're talking about traditional laptop weight, but hefty to the point where you're thinking, damn, I could be carrying a MacBook Air <laughs> if that's an option for you. But in the realm of uh, Android tablets, there's really nothing else that's quite doing what this one is doing. So I figure, hey, you know, get the extra functionality, especially at the price point that Asus has it at. So something that I haven't mentioned yet is uh, the shortcut keys. That's another fantastic feature on this device. Um, you've got keys up top here for, you know, toggling auto brightness. Um, you've got multimedia keys, a very quick settings key, a home key to take you back to home from wherever you are. Um, when you're in an application, say the browser, for example, you've got a options key, which brings up, you know, your different options within that application, whether it be the browser or something else. Um, you've also got a multi-touch trackpad, which I don't actually use that much only because I usually just reach up and touch the screen for whatever it is that I need. Performance wise, this device is very similar to the Tab 10 one. Uh, basically identical. I mean, a, a great way to stress them out is to like throw some 1080p video on there and they both handle it perfectly well. Um, the web browsers are close to identical as well. And so if you want to get a better idea of just how speedy they are, then definitely check out my showdown video where I compare the iPad here. There's the iPad 2, the Galaxy Tab 10 1, as well as the HP touchpad. That'll give you a very good idea of what kind of performance to expect out of the transformer. It's very similar. So anyway, guys, I probably haven't covered everything, but I've definitely talked for a while. This is a new style of review. You know, usually I uh, I sort of sit down, I have more edits, and, uh, you know, I usually don't talk for so long or about so much. So definitely let me know in the comment section if you like this style or not. Maybe I could go back to a different style, but um, I really wanted to uh, cover a lot of things and also just sort of... Uh, get my opinion out there because I really do like this device. I'm really impressed by it. And I think if you're in the market for an Android honeycomb tablet, you've got to take a long, hard look at this device here. Anyway, guys, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, then hopefully you'll subscribe or at least visit the channel and check out some more stuff I've got going on over there. Thanks. We're connected.